In this tutorial, we'll be looking at regular expressions. A regular expression is simply a pattern designed to match strings. However, regular expressions are much more flexible than simple tests to see if one string contains another. Custom rules in Canet let you use regular expressions, but you should be careful to fully understand regular expressions before making rules that use them. To demonstrate regular expressions, I'll use the regular expression tester built into Canet. To get to it, click on Rules, then Custom Rules, then Regular Expression Tester. I'll use the string phi, oops, phi, phi, pho as a test string to demonstrate regular expressions. Now let's try our first regular expression, f. As you see, it matched in three different places, here, here, and here. Now let's try a slightly longer one, f, i, e. That one only matched in one places. Neither of those regular expressions had any special characters in them, so they just matched as if it was a substring match. Now let's look at our first special character, or meta character. A caret at the beginning of a, ma of a regular expression forces it to match starting from the beginning of a string. As you see, caret f matches only the first f because only that f is at the beginning of the string. A caret is special in this way only if it comes at the beginning of the regular expression. If we try caret e, there's no match because the string doesn't begin with e. Another special character is a dollar sign at the end of a regular expression. This forces it to match only at the end of the string. As you see, e dollar matches only the final e because it comes at the end of the string. A dollar sign is special in this way only at the end of a regular expression. If we try to match x dollar or o dollar, there's no match because the string doesn't end with o. A third special character is the period. It matches any single character. So let's try f dot e. As you see, that matches in three places. In the first place, the, dollar, the dot matched the e. In the second, it matched the i, and in the third, it matched the o. Square brackets let you match a set of characters. That regular expression matches an f, followed by an e or an o, followed by another e. Matches in two places, here and here. It didn't match here because i is not an e or an o. If you start the contents of the square brackets with a caret, it means to match characters that don't appear in the set of square brackets. So this regular expression matches f i e because i is not an e or an o. Another special character is the asterisk. The asterisk is called a quantifier. It means to match zero or more of the previous character. So the expression f e star space f matches f E, e space F because it's F followed by zero or more E's followed by a space followed by an F. <coughs> Note that an asterisk is not a wild card, so F E star space F won't match F E O space F because E O is not zero or more E's. Let me demonstrate. No match, because it's not F followed by zero or more E's, followed by a space, followed by an F. The O messes things up. A plus sign is similar to an asterisk, except it means to match one or more of the previous character. The expression F plus E matches one or more F's, followed by an E. The only place that happens is here. Contrast that with f star e, which matches zero or more f's, followed by an e. That happens in four places. Here we have one f followed by an e, and in the other three places we have zero f's, followed by an e. Quantifiers are greedy. They try to gobble up as many characters as they can while still being able to match. So, f dot star e matches the whole thing, because that means f followed by zero or more of anything, followed by an e. So the f matches the f, the e at the end is matched by the e, and the dot star 
matches all of that. You can make the quantifier non-greedy by following it with a question mark. In this case, it will gobble up as few characters as necessary to make the match work. See the difference? F followed by zero or more of anything followed by an E. In this case, the dot star matched nothing. Here dot star matched the I, and here it matched the O. You can use parentheses to group parts of a regular expression together, so quantifiers treat them as a unit. This regular expression will match the whole string. It means an F followed by any character, followed by an E, followed by zero or more spaces, that whole thing one or more times. So the first sub-expression in, in parentheses matched that, the second matched that, and the third matched the FOE at the end. Zero spaces, but that's okay. Well, that's it for the brief introduction to regular expressions. Even though we've only touched the surface, I hope it's given you a glimpse into the power of regular expressions. Remember, before creating a custom rule that uses regular expressions, test your expression with the regular expression tester first. Happy matching, and thanks for listening.